Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Today we have a Darlington throwback, one of the most anticipated cars, and voted as the best Darlington throwback, the best in show. It's Eric Jones, John Andretti throwback to STP machine. Without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. Alrighty, folks, right out of the good old box, and here we go. This is one of the most anticipated Diecast releases of the season. And let me tell you, this car looks great. Wow. Um, I... I think I had a little bit of a concern with the way the orange looked off camera during the unboxing, but I am here to say that it is bright. I don't think it's true day glow, but I definitely think the orange on this looks very bright, and I think I'm quite satisfied with it, honestly. I was kind of concerned they were going to use a very flat, very dull orange, to, and it was going to really throw off this die cast, but I think they did an admirable job uh, picking a good shade of orange for this car, so I'm pretty excited about that. Let's check it out, folks. Uh, we got the Jones logo right there on the front. So you got that www.stp.com. That is a throwback of its own. Uh, back in the day, they, they they didn't have hashtags on race cars. They had dot coms uh, during the dot com boom. So uh, it was really cool to see those on like everything. You know, Dupont.com, Budweiser.com. You know, it's pretty cool to see those on cars. Uh, the front windshield or windshield. I mean, yeah. front <laughs> headlights are screwed up. That's all good. Uh, Petty uh, Enterprises, because it's a throwback, so we're going to call it Petty Enterprises. Got the number 43 right there. Got the Sudoku decal. The whole front of this car kind of reminds me of a sunset, you know, like a sun lowering in the desert. Uh, but the whole front valence of the car kind of has this generic whoosh. Uh, it's kind of a day glow or normal orange in this case with a very um, nice and robust yellow stripe with a bright white center. You know, the left side of the car, very, very clean-looking paint scheme. The Petty Blue, could you could literally spray a cereal box with it, and it still would look great. I mean, it, you could take your toilet seat and spray it Petty Blue. It would look great. Petty Blue is one of the best-looking colors out there. Uh, we got the Eric Jones logo right there. So glad they kept uh, Jones for another season. I think he did great in that 43 car, to tell you the truth. Uh, Mac Tools, STP, whatever that is, or whatever that is. Uh, something impact there, STP. Uh, I, I would say I would like to see a little bit of a bigger logo, though. I know that's, you know, accurate to the real car, but I just wish they would have made it a little bit bigger there. I don't know. Uh, check it for Andretti. You got the uh, safety clean decal there. U.S. Air Force, got the number 43. I would say I wish the 43 was a fraction bigger. You know, I'm, I'm, that's one of my pet peeves is the door number. I like the door numbers to be in the middle and to be wide. Uh, we got the STP 50th Anniversary logo, NASCAR, uh, Darlington logo, and the NASCAR Salutes decal. I'll go to the back end of this diecast here. Get uh, double the STP in the back. Uh, 43 right there, ZL1 Camaro 1LE. You got the black spoiler there. Go to the right side of this diecast. I'm pretty sure this car is still in stock with many of the other Darlington throwbacks. So if you would like to pick up this car, uh, make sure to go uh, check them out at Circle B Diecast. And you can use the promo code DIECASTBUFFET and you'll get free shipping any orders $20 or more. You don't have to use it, but if you do, I would love you forever. Like, bro, like, that that that's that's real friendship. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know why, but this wheel seems a little bit crooked here. I think it's just me. I think I need glasses, bro. There's a little bit of a smudge here, but truth be told, it kind of looks cool. I, I don't know why. It's, it looks like someone had black paint on their finger, and they, like, accidentally pressed it because you can see the gaps, which tells me that's a fingerprint. But to tell you the truth, it kind of reminds me of, like, a race wear mark. Which kind of looks cool. I like it. Go to the roof of the diecast here. You know, there's a few throwbacks that I have been kind of crying at the at the moonlight, howling, if you will, uh, for them to get made. Obviously, they made the the Ricky Craven Tide ride. They did the Kurt Busch 03 car. They did the Sterling Martin 02. They did the Tony Stewart 02. But there's two cars that I would love to see a tribute paint scheme to. You, you ready for this one? So it's Eminem's final year, right? I want a 2008 M&M's or 2010 M&M's um, paint scheme, like with the, the, the diamond plate pattern. I want that on a freaking uh, cup car. But the second one, and I think Eric Jones should do it, is either a 01 or a 02 Cheerios 43 paint scheme. You know, uh, the ones that are made very famous by Andretti. God, I love those cars. They're beautiful. So you get the 43 on the roof here. It's the STP logo, uh, or I should say the oval, so to speak. Uh, with the 43 in the middle, which looks really good because the 43 on the roof is a very flat 
uh, 43, kind of like a painted on look. But on the door numbers, you could see a little bit of a shadowing effect, which looks really, really sharp. Check it for Andretti once again. Jones um, and the, the deck lid. Well, it's 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 free real estate, so that's pretty good. All in all, this is a great looking car. Um, it does have the Darlington wheels, you can notice that. It does not have the thin blue stripe that we would see on the real cars from the 2021 uh, throwback event. I love this car. The black spoiler really sets it off. Uh, originally, this car was a Pontiac back in the day. And to tell you the truth, the nose of the Camaros, it really wouldn't be that far off from a Pontiac um, Grand Prix, to tell you the truth. They always kind of had a pointed nose to it. I would not be surprised if, uh, if Pontiac was still around. It would be very similar to this. Um, so I think it looks really, really good. I'm going to give it a 9.7 out of 10. I'm glad they didn't screw it up. This is a great looking throwback. Um, and certainly would look great in your collection. Uh, so thank y'all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. More cars coming up on the channel. Uh, we got, what is this, two Stuart Haas racing cars here. I mean, beautiful, beautiful paint schemes. Plenty more coming up. Even our first Checkers or Wreckers diecast. Oh, boy, that's going to be fun. Uh, plenty of cars, more throwbacks, you name it. So make sure to stay tuned, guys. I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Diecast Buffet, shine off.